I am Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. We're at 4100 Dublin Street, Orlando, Florida, 32812, here in Robbinsdale, but that's not a name on the subdivision you really notice. We're off of Conway Road in Conway, and the purpose of this video is for you to see what you can't see if you just look at the best pictures for the write-up online. People want to know, what's it look like across the street? What's the neighborhood like? And then we'll go in and we'll look at things too. This neighborhood was built when Orlando was going through the Space Coast boom, built in 1959. That's right about when NASA started taking off. Orlando started taking off. Back then, the new homes, three bedrooms, one and a half bath with a carport. That was like way modern. Now they're definitely cute. This home has got a lot of the original retro touches here. It's important to get a feel for the neighborhood. Hopefully he's not going to eat me, is he? Never once have I had pit bull owners say, oh yes, he will eat you. But statistically, I don't have much to fear from a chihuahua. So we are walking away from the big dog. So that's not the prettiest thing across the street. Definitely you've got no HOA here, which is what everybody wants. Intersection of Dublin and Glendora. Right near downtown, near the expressway. You can hear a peacock in the distance there. Blue jay in the tree. That looks like a pricey roof. Some big lots. Look at that. Holy cow. And our subject property here, 4100 Dublin, is on 0.66 acres. It's a big backyard. Doesn't really feel like it's on acreage. But it is better than a small lot. Some real expensive homes there in the distance. You can see right center screen. You can hear the peacocks. And of course this one is on the water. These are your trees right here. And those are 250 to 300 years old. Coastal Live Oak Quercus Virginiana. Cannot replace those trees. Not in several lifetimes. Got a nice big yard here. Got Miami Vice colors, which you either like or will be painting. All right, we got a new roof installed June and July of 2020. There's a little bit of a cat smell inside, and I'm guessing, I'm just making up, that looks like a cat continually peeing or dog continually peeing on the door. Obviously that door's been changed out. You get the cat smell out. That is an issue. Got your own interesting thing with the gate there. So this is amazing, this part. This is really cool. Good and bad about every one of this house on the market for 330000 Three bedroom, one and a half bath. Private lake. Big lakefront trees. Nice backyard. 
Not really set up for a back porch or no extra entrance door. That was the porch once I think that was enclosed. I'm gonna make up that these trees also are part of your property. So just because this is fenced, I'm guessing you go all the way down the lake if that's important to you. Where you could remove the fence, go all the way down. So that's probably why the lot doesn't feel like it's as big as it really is. That is a major tree, holy cow. That was a major tree, not here anymore. All right, let's go around to the front. So now, we're kind of giving you a feel for the enclosed porch. We'll come back around to that. Okay, well you've seen the outside. Now let's go inside. A little bit of a crawl space there. The roof is newer. It is a torch down type of roofing. AC I just happened to look was built and put in 2016 I think. For the money for a house like this, this might be about as nice as you get. It's got this with some kind of porch. Got the new layer of flooring. That is a picture right there. Got the new windows. Windows are one of those things that you put in, cost eight or ten thousand dollars. They don't add any actual dollar value to the house. But they sure are nice if somebody else has done that for us. And they have. I right, got an open kitchen like they built. They were doing it now, they've removed that wall. They're building modern day. I'd say this is 10 or 15 years old. They put it in without a dishwasher. And your refrigerator is gonna go right there. See the plug. Lots of room for some cost-effective upgrades to the house, you know, new light fixtures. How old do you think that is, right? Like, what's that, like $15 or something? So lots of things you could do to make the place show and look even better. It's got a nice feel to it, for sure. Three bedrooms, one with a half bath, we call the master. You just can't buy tile like that anymore. We've redone the flooring. It's definitely the original tile from 1959. I'm not sure if that's from original or something that fits in there pretty good. Been here a while, still looks good. That was bedroom three, now this is bedroom two. That's a pretty nice view there. That's not the best view there. Looks like kids playing. A little bit of smell of cat in here. I'm sure that'll come out. Let's see if I can get the closet. 
There we go. That's the biggest closet. That was a huge master closet for 1959. Got a great view of the lake, except the shed is right there. And there's your half bath. Which half? Half you use. And no shower. I think we saw it when we went outside. That was a big tree there that is missing now. This is not a small bedroom. Not huge, but for the square footage, supposedly around 1,200 square feet. Can't beat it. So if you're looking for a house like this, in this price range, 330,000, can't do much better. Big trees on the lake. Some cute stuff like that. Newer roof, newer AC. Gotta like that. If I can help you with this house here at 4100 Dublin or another house like it, I want you to call me, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. I bet you I can help you find something that you couldn't find on your own. Thanks.